Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're seeing my curled face and hair or hearing my voice, this is Sharehorn Elstrom, Pajama Grandma. And today, I'm here with the Daily Scare Share, and I don't agree with it. I don't think I agree with it, and that's okay. You're probably thinking, who the heck are you and why should we listen to you? Pajama Grandma here. If we haven't met yet, go ahead and put hashtag pajama in the comments below because I love meeting new people and knowing when you're exposed to me for the first time. Every day, for the better part of this year, I have been doing something called the Daily Scare Share. I do one thing a day that scares me from this little book called Do One Thing A Day That Scares You. And since I was scared to do videos, I hop online and I do an, a live video, no matter how I am, no matter what I look like, no matter what I'm doing, I stop and I do this one th time a day. Usually first thing in the morning so that I don't forget to do it. Now, <clears throat> it's day 163 and I haven't forgotten to do it yet. So I think I'm doing okay. <clears throat> Today, let's hop right in. It says, it's one of the sayings days and I need my magnifying glass. Da, da, da. Here it is. <clears throat> I have to have my magnifying glass. I can actually read the words, but I can't read who it's by. It says, there's no such thing as bravery only degrees of fear. Now, I like to argue with this one or disagree with this one because I do think that there are, I do think there's such a thing as bravery. I also think everyone has fear and I think that's maybe what, let's see who's saying this. John Wainwright wrote this. I think maybe that's what he means is that we all feel fear and it's always just a degree of fear and whether we're brave enough to act in spite of our fear or not, maybe that's what he's saying. And I do agree with that. I think that everybody, all of us, are afraid of things. We're all afraid of different things, but we're all afraid of something. Even the most brave person, it's not that they don't have fear, it's just that they're willing to act in spite of the fear. They're willing to take action no matter what because their desire to act, their knowing that they need to act is stronger than the fear. And actually, since we human beings make up about 98% of our fears, that they're probably right. And we just have to keep in mind and remember that most of what we're afraid of will never, ever happen. Most of what we worry about or doubt is just made up in our minds. We have this incredibly powerful brain and mind that just makes stuff up. So <clears throat> maybe that's what he's saying. But I always like to look at the upside of things, the positive side of things, the possibility side of things. So when somebody says there's no such thing as this positive thing, I don't, I don't like to look at my life that way. I don't look to look at the world that way. I like to see the world from the possibility side, not the lack side. So that is why I decided that I don't necessarily agree with this one. So what am I going to do about this today? <clears throat> well, there's no lines on this one, so I don't feel like I have to do something, but of course I'm going to do something because the whole purpose of this exercise is to stretch my comfort zone, to do one thing a day that, that scares me a little bit and makes me afraid. So today, <clears throat> I'm going to the cabin with my mom and sisters, and that's scary as all get out. <laughs> Not really. I love my mom and I love my sisters. Um, but like all families, we have our drama and we have our trials and tribulations and... Growing up in a family of all girls, there was a little bit of drama and um, we're all strong personalities and you put us all in one room and it gets louder and louder and louder. It's really, it's really interesting. And as I've gotten older, I like to just sit back and observe more often than dive in and participate. They still get me riled up, you know, nobody knows how to trigger you better and easier than your family, right? They've had, you know, 50... How old's my youngest sister? 54, maybe? I've had 54 and 57, and my mom said 58 years of practice. So <laughs> they all know how to push my buttons, but in a good way as well as in a bad way. So <clears throat> we're going to go spend some days at the cabin, and I'm hoping it doesn't rain the whole time because it would be nice to get outdoors up there. And um, I haven't been up there for quite a while, so it'll be fun. Anyway, I believe that there is such a thing as, as bravery, and maybe bravery is simply acting in the presence of fear because we all have degrees of fear. We all feel fear. We're all uncomfortable, but that's how we grow. It isn't until we bust through that edge of our comfort zone that we ever grow or learn anything. 
You know, think about anything you've ever learned in your entire life. And if you have to go all the way back to when you learned to walk and crawl as a baby, use that. I mean, start there because if you're walking, if you can crawl, we've all learned at least that, right? If you're speaking, if you're reading, if you're listening and you're comprehending my words, then obviously you've learned a lot of things that you weren't born knowing. So we all have acted in spite of our fear of anything and everything. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. Go out and make it a fantastic day. I don't need to talk a whole lot about this. Be brave. Be you. Just get out there and enjoy your life today. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow with another Daily Stair Share from the cabin. Bye.